One of the most breathtaking and intriguing designs in the history of motorcycling, this statement certainly applies to Suzuki Nuda. Nuda was Suzuki's showcase aiming to engender as much wow factor as any Japanese manufacturer could possibly hope for in mid-80s. We can all agree that Nuda's appearance was, and quite frankly still is, an artistic knockout. Extremely sleek bodywork can't be mistaken with any other bike. Previous concept venture from Hamamatsu known as Falcoristico was taken somewhat semi-serious due to alleged fake engine. Story goes that Alluring Square 4 was just a polymer mock-up. None of that in the Nuda. Even more striking than its captivating presence was its fully operational construction. Yes, you heard right, this incredible machine was actually built not just to look pretty, but to ride. Test riding of such a masterpiece must have been a cosmic experience as both front and rear wheel were actually propelled by the engine. When did you last time hear about this kind of stuff in a motorcycle, huh? Just to make it even more spicy, Suzuki decided to create simply bewildering hub and linkage steering system. Then was the single-sided swing arm, which, let's be honest, looks great on any motorcycle. And Nuda has two of those. Light carbon fiber wheels compensated for heavy drive shafts and power-assisted steering with futuristic electronic dashboard resembled Paul Verhoeven's cyberpunk world known from a movie Robocop. You might be wondering what behemoth of an engine was chosen to move the Nuda. Looking at super aerodynamic narrow body, you can figure out that inline six or a turbo motor were out of the equation. Designers kept it simple. Decision was made to use contemporary belter from Suzuki stable. Legendary by now, air and oil cooled Suzuki GSXR 750 motor seemed to be a reasonable choice at the time. Suzuki claimed that Nuda was capable of nearly 180 miles per hour of top speed. And here is where things get a little interesting. 1986 model of Suzuki GSXR 750 produced only 100 horsepower and was good for just a tad over 150 miles per hour on full open tabs. So knowing that Nuda was significantly heavier due to complicated shaft drive systems on both wheels is kind of questionable if this type of speed was actually achievable. So did Suzuki secretly tune GSXR's engine, or was it basically a bogus claim? Sadly, this is something most of us will never find out. Scanned information about this undoubtedly intriguing motorbike makes it difficult to properly review. On one hand, spectacular and exclusive due to its innovative drive systems, but on the other hand, considerably plain due to its engine borrowed from basic Suzuki's lineup. But what eventually happened with the Nuda? Sadly, this incredible machine never made its way to official production. Was it because the bike was so much ahead of its time? Was it reliability problems caused by complex drive systems? Or maybe the cost of production made it simply inviable? Either way, Suzuki Nuda must have influenced cycle world in some respect, as its technological solutions and design elements were seen years later on other brands' creations. It's a shame and big loss that Suzuki didn't invest more funds and time to refine their enigmatic marvel. I'm sure this type of approach to a motorbike would find millions of followers for years to come. But what do you really think about the Nuda? Was it a sensation or just excessive form? Thanks for watching, till next time.